learning a portrait it's not as difficult as it to be most times but it just really depends on how you understand um the blending method in photoshop because there are several ways to blend in photoshop like most people make use of the smudge to some people make use of the brush too and why some people make use of the mixer brush too so it all really depends on how you feel it's okay for you to blend like for me i make use of the brush too and the mixer brush which i'm really going to show you right now so i hope this is where your artwork is or the stage where your artwork is right now so all you have to do at this point is just for you to create a new layer above your shadows and your highlight layer and you want to set that to as a clipping mask right click and hit on create clipping mask now you don't need any specific brush for this but if you have my free brush pack you are going to get the mixer brush with the pressure sensitivity option which um which is right here you're going to get this one with pressure sensitivity option well i won't be making use of that brush right now so if you have the default photoshop brushes which is already in your photoshop you can just grab that and use it which is really going to be very easy and awesome for you to do that now if you're making use of the default photoshop brush all you just have to do is for you to, to just select the brush and when you select the brush go up to your opacity and set the opacity to 30 percent and set your flow to somewhere around 50 percent and you are good to go if you're making use of a mouse and if you're making use of a tablet it's all the same thing you are good to go so i already have a mixer brush in my premium brush pack which i will be um no before making use of the mixer brush just do the settings and set it to 30 percent and 50 percent right here we are going to make a pre-blending of these shadows and the highlights we are going to mix them together trying to create a little bit of a smooth transition between them before we start making use of the mixer brush to blend everything also like i told you you don't need any specific brush for this you can make use of the default general brush in photoshop just open up the general brush and select the regular soft round brush and when you select the regular soft round brush just impute these settings as i have right here in mine and then you are good to go so create a new layer and go into your artwork now at this point i would advise you to zoom in i would just ask you to leave it zoomed out so that you can concentrate on just only mixing of the colors because you are not really going in depth of the blending so now before you start blending with the brush take a look at your reference like the nose part the way the nose is right here is different from the way it is right here so we have to fix that with the brush too before making use of the mixer brush so in order for us to fix that you might always want to play around with the size of your brush because that is one crucial part which you really have to take in mind because some places are bigger which you need to cover a large area with a bigger brush and some places are smaller which you need to cover those small area with which you need to cover the smaller areas with small brush so right now all i have to do the odd key this time it's your favorite too and i guess later on i'm going to show you guys how to set your tablet so that it's really going to be very easy for you to just paint you can without touching your keyboard and so on but right now i'm going to stick with the keyboard settings and my tablet right now so at this point the odd key is your friend because you don't want to go over to the two palette and start switching from the color picker tool to the brush tool from the brush to the color picker tool because you will constantly make use of the color picker at this point so when you select the brush tool and you hold down odd you will be able to sample from any part from colors and you just paint just like that so at this point whenever you hold odd you are switching over to your color picker too so right now all you just have to do is just for you to 
hold on out and click then you pick a color and you paint just like that now you have to repeat this process till you get everywhere blend in and feeling properly the way it is supposed to be now at this point you have to really understand that you are trying to mix the mid tones the shadows and a little bit of the highlights together to get a little bit of shapes of your shadows and highlight all the face before you go into building the shadows and the highlight so right now at this point we can see that this place is not really as dark as we have right here so all we just have to do we just have to uh, mix all these stuff together with just something like this and then we'll paint over just like that so in all these places where we have these edges if you like you can reduce the size of your brush or you can increase the size of your brush but i'm just going to keep the brush size to somewhere around this and i'm going to pick from the mid tones and i'm just going to paint over i'm going to pick from here and just keep doing you would pick from one place and you sample from to the other and you pick from the other and you sample just something like this so i'm going to create a new layer above and i'm just going to select this right here and i'm going to paint like this and select this one and i'm going to paint. i'm really sorry if you're not seeing this but let me just quickly switch to another brush that you can really see what i'm doing right here so pick from here and just paint pick from here and just paint it right there so now switch back to the brush which is the 30 and 50 now all you have to do is just for you to pick from this part and you paint right here and you pick from this part and you paint right here pick from here and you paint right here you keep doing this till you cover up the hard edge you have right there and blending in both colors together as you can see just like that and later on once you get something like this you can make use of the mixer brush to, bl to blend properly so that is exactly what i'm doing right here it's nothing different and nothing similar i've already shown you guys this process of how to blend which i might leave a link in the description to that video or i might just follow the link so let's just keep blending now you have to know blending is all about patient and try not to sample from your sketch layer and if you please you can turn off the sketch layer so that you'll be able to see what you are doing you already have the shape of the face with the shadows and the outline you've already created so you might turn off the sketch layer that is if you please so i'm just going to go around and do this stuff can also pick from a certain place like this part and use it to just cover up this part because it's almost the same thing so you don't need to stress yourself and start mixing up the colors so now you can see that we are getting the round shape of the head at this point
so right now you can see the level we've gone with the blend method it's very very easy it just depends on the time you put in to just take out to blend each part of the skin now you might find out that some part are losing some shadows and highlight like if you find out that some parts is being dark when it's not dark in, on your porch on your reference you just have to review the sketch layer so that you get to see those places that are light like this part of the face right here will have a little bit of light reflection and this part is not as dark as mine right here so now you can review the sketch layer so that you can use it to apply those lights in the places where they are so i'm just going to do that right here now you can go over again and do the blending thing again Okay, so coming part to coming over to this part of the nose, you have to look at it right here. So we have the like the nose going in just like this. So we have to do that right here. So let's start blending. So I'm gonna pick from this part because it's almost the same thing, and I'm just going to paint over there. So I'm gonna take the nose inwards just like that so I'm gonna repeat the same process right here. to see that here it's kind of like curved and so on now if yours is not curved you don't need to worry because you have to shape it with your brush too that is what you just have to do you don't really need to be precise with anything you just need to shape everything if you get to see all the white that i have been painting i've been 
blending right now it's all about picking and, and painting sampling and painting and shaping that is just what you have to do throughout the blending process when you are making use of a brush right now you can see that this part is not really matching with the way it is right here so i am just going to sample from other places pen over there and just try to rearrange that shape to make it look just like the reference have to do is just for you to select your mixer brush so if you don't have my brush bag so this is what you are going to do select the default photoshop brush in photoshop but first all you have to do you need to go down to the brush tool and select the mixer brush and you select the regular brush tool in photoshop just like just like the one you make use of in the pre-blending well i'm gonna try to drop the mixer brush in the link in the description so that you can get that but if i couldn't just grab the default soft run brush in photoshop and make sure you are selecting your mixer brush and make sure to keep your settings this way put the wet to 20 the load to 20 the mix to 10 and the flow to 20 so once this is set on a new layer select the mixer brush on a new layer now since you are done with this one and this you can just merge both layers together that is if you wish to but i'm just going to hit on ctrl e to merge both layers together and just the new layer i created i'm going to right click and set that to create clipping mask so right now i'm working on just one layer and i have only three layer which is the base color the first shadow and the blending and the second blending with the mixer brush so now this time what you have to do you need to turn off the background layer and also turn off the sketch layer now let me really show you the reason for that so when you turn this off look here your mixer brush setting is set to sample all layers now when you just keep painting it drags from each part and mix it up all together and from there everything you are doing it's not really going to make sense it's really going to be nasty and you don't want to mix any of those other colors with the skin team so you just really have to take note of that so make sure you turn off the sketch layer and you turn off the background layer so now once you've done this off for now you are free to zoom in to make use of the mixer brush to blend so you can zoom in a little bit that is if you wish to but i'm going to recommend you zoom in so now start making use of the mixer brush to blend those edges and other parts of that work that is remaining so that it, you, are, you are going to get a smooth transition 
as you keep going you can switch between the before and the after so now you can see a whole lot of difference take out your time to do this process because this is kind of like an important part to smoothing all the transition you just added so far and now if your work is looking a little bit muddy don't worry about that because as you keep going it's really going to look better and almost look like the same portrait reference which you are painting from if you follow the process just the way i'll be showing you guys so i'm going to go right here and repeat the same thing.
so if you feel the blend the blending properly this is what you are supposed to be having at this point so i'm going to review the mouth and the sketch layer so this is what we have so far so this is what we're having before after the blending with the brush and this is what we have after we make use of the mixer brush so now you can see how smooth the transition is so take out your time practice on the mixer brush and learn how to blend with the mixer brush in the next video we are going to go on plugging in the other parts of the place we left like the eyes mainly that just the eyes so we're going to work on applying the eyes and building up the shadows because this is just the first stage of the shadows but we can really see what it's going on right here so i'm going to bring back the background layer and turn off the sketch layer so looking at the reference and looking at what we have we are really close to what we're having and the reference so with time we're just going to take step by step to build up these shadows which i'm really going to show you now the, <clears throat> the main step of painting a portrait is almost done that is blocking in of the solid color applying your shadows and your highlight and blending of the shadows of the highlight so once you learn this three method and you are really okay with this three method then everything that comes after it's very very simple because now all you just have to do is just for you to keep on building your shadows little by little till you finally get what you want so in the next video we are going to do that and we are going to work on the eyes to perfectly bring out the portrait so see you guys in my next video and make sure that you keep practicing